Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little experiment with a couple of standard grip Cricut mats. These are, I've got two here, these are pretty useless at the moment. They're not sticky at all, nothing's sticking to them. They won't hold vinyl, they won't hold card. So really, at the moment, all they are good for is the bin. So I'm going to give them a clean using two popular methods and then I'm going to let you know which one worked the best for me and whether I'd recommend it for you guys. So with all that said, let's get started. So I've just come into the kitchen to do this and this is the mat that I've been using in my most recent videos. It's really not sticky, it won't hold anything, nothing at all in that corner, mm, not too much in that corner either. So I've got these Johnson's baby wipes, so let's get a couple of these out and start scrubbing. You can see I've got residue of cardstock on there. So it's got like this red that was left behind by that card. I think that's probably as clean as it's going to get right now. It doesn't look too bad. It looks much cleaner than it was before. It's definitely not sticky. So once it's dry, let's hope that stickiness comes back. So this is the other one I'm going to clean now. And I'm going to use some fairy liquid and a sponge for that one. So for this part of the experiment, I'm going to use my Dishmatic. I haven't got any washing up liquid in it today unfortunately so let's just get that piece of wood shaving off there I'm not sure where that's coming from there's a big piece of vinyl on it here let's get rid of that and the card okay so I'm going to just get my fairy liquid and I'm just going to pop it over not loads just a nice little squirt and then... right so here we are at the sink I'm just going to wet my dishmatic a little bit and then I'm going to just scrub away at this mat in the sink so hopefully it should get loads of suds and it'll come up like new Whew, this is hard work <laughs> quite a few bits of red cardstock on this one that just won't budge I'm not sure what that is, whether it's dye or bits of card, but it just won't come up. Let's give them a swill off now. So it looks cleaner, definitely. Just swill it off on the other side. Yep. it does look a lot cleaner you can see all these red bits on here that they look like it's dye I'm just going to go around this corner piece a little bit more I think I've missed that part get a really good scrub in the corner because as you know the corners are what we all use the most on our mats so this one now is certainly not sticky at all so it's a lovely sunny day here today, so I'm going to go and put it outside in the sun to dry. And then hopefully, when we come back, it's going to be super duper sticky. Stay tuned to see what happens next. Alright then, so it's the next day now. I'm going to see how sticky these mats are now that they are really dry. I decided to leave them overnight because I did put them outside in the sun for about 25 minutes-ish, but they didn't seem to get very dry and I could feel that they were still quite damp and the stickiness certainly didn't return to them straight away so I've left them overnight it's been about um, 24 hours there or thereabouts now since I cleaned them and I think that there's a definite difference now between the way they were before and the way that they are now holding on to just this protective mat and this one definitely is really sticky again. I can really need to pull that to get that off there. 
so this is the one that I did with the baby wipes so I've got a couple of cake toppers to make so I'm going to just pop down some cardstock this is um, 220 GSM glitter cardstock it's single sided glitter so I think probably the least sticky part is the centimetres corner so I'm going to put it on the inches corner let's just apply that and I think if I give it a bray down it's going to be really sticky again they feel really good that is for sure so I'm going to do one on this one and then I'll do one on the other mat and see how they come out I'm quite pleased with how that stuck down it's really good so far so let's see how it cuts all right so my cake topper has cut and I don't know whether I said it before but this is the mat that I used the baby wipes on so I'm going to just flip it over because it is stuck well and I think if I, if I just pull it off it's going to tear so I'm just going to turn it over and it's stuck really really well so it's definitely worked this is amazing so I've actually breathed completely new life into this mat and I'm really impressed with that so it's cut well it's stuck well there's no bits where it's dragged and if there were any pieces of the mat that weren't sticky where the cardstock was stuck to it then you would get like a dragging because it would start to move the cardstock especially further into the cut because it's got less bits to hold on so that is really amazing I'm really pleased with that So I've just got this mat, this is the one that I used the washing up liquid on and I have just pressed this down, I have actually braided it as well but it's starting to lift on this corner on its own so I don't think this mat is that good unless I was making a smaller project and I could put it down in this corner it's not sticky enough to use for a cake topper where it's quite a big design so that isn't as good as the baby wiped one one thing to remember when you're trying to keep your mats clean is to get rid of all these little bits off of your mat and the easiest way to do that is just grab your scraper and just scrape them off. It won't damage the adhesive on your mat and it makes sure that you get a really nice clean mat every time after using it. That is that then everybody. Um, in conclusion then, I would say the best way to clean your mats is definitely with the baby wipes. I do think that the age of the second mat with the washing up liquid did make a difference to it because to be honest that one was quite a bit older and it had been used a lot more so I think it was a lot less sticky to start with so it might have been a bit of an unfair test for that one but it definitely did get some stick back but just not as good as the one with the baby wipes. Um, there was quite a large patch on the one with the washing it up liquid that hadn't got any stick back at all and yesterday when I originally did it there wasn't any stick virtually on that mat in, uh, across the board literally so um, it definitely improved overnight with letting it dry for 24 hours and just make sure that you use these plastic covers that come with your Cricut mat. So I have heard of people throwing them out because they didn't realise that they were actually functional. But they just stop pet hairs and bits of dust and fluff and all sorts of things that are just around your house from getting on them. And just making your mats less sticky on an everyday basis. So the star of the show is here. This is the mat that I cleaned with the baby wipes. And it's super duper sticky again. It feels like new. It looks like new. There are no bits on it um, and it's definitely been well used because I can see loads of cake topper designs that have cut into it so this has worked really well so this has definitely given this a new lease of life it's going to definitely keep going for a while now and it's saving me money in the process so make sure that you have a go at cleaning your mats don't just throw them away because you think that they're done for once they've lost their stick don't forget if you enjoyed this video I'd love to see you again so don't forget to subscribe and drop me a like down below for this video if you enjoyed it and you found it useful. So all that's left to be said now is have a great week, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon, bye!